Heian Wai is tiny. You can walk around the town's entire circumference in about 20 minutes. I think we've passed this place twice already. <laughs> but what it lacks in size, it makes up for in character. Because nestled into its less than one square mile are nearly 20 independent bookshops. It's a mecca for bibliophiles across the UK. Most of the bookshops offer secondhand or antique books, and some of the shops even specialize in the genres they carry. <laughs> Chaucer's early poetry. <laughs> this bookshop is dedicated entirely to detective fiction, true crime, and horror. Now a town of books, it wasn't always this way. In 1962, a book enthusiast named Richard Booth opened up the very first bookshop here, in what was then a struggling rural community. Today, you'll see his name all over town. Richard Booth became known for his publicity stunts, one of which was declaring Heian Wai an independent kingdom of books, and he, its king. Richard is uh, really clever. He's his own kind of advertising machine because, of course, it uh, just propelled Hay from being the sleepy market town with a few bookshops into something worldwide. Derek Addyman started out working for Richard Booth. Now, he and his business partner own three shops in Hay, including Addyman Books, a veritable maze of themed rooms and books upon books. It taught me a lot. He's uh, a man who saved a town from becoming uh, just another town into something unique. Stories about giants, witches, and dragons. Richard Booth passed away in August of 2019. Over 50 years after his first bookshop here, books are now not only just big business for Hay on Wai, they're actually preserving it. This is Hay Castle. It was built in the late 12th century, and it's seen better days. We think that the town kind of grew up around the castle. It was a Norman lord who built it. And once they built the site here, it kind of attracted people to it, and then a market grew up around it, and then the town of Hay has kind of grown up around that. And the builders started work last June, so we've only been going just over a year. There's a lot of funding to raise, and so one of the other things that we have that um, kind of donates towards the, the whole project is the Honesty Bookshop. So how does it work? Since it's all outdoors, I don't see anyone working here. No, we have a little um, little box over there and you just put your money in and you have to be honest because it's an honesty bookshop. So, oh, so it's sort of the honor system. Yeah. Does anyone uh, ever not obey the honor I system? <laughs> I, I like to think not. They probably do. <laughs> but it's a good amount of money every month that we get from it. So the trust decided the best thing to do with the money is to put it straight into the restoration project. So the money comes up from the little box here and goes into the, to the funds and goes towards all the work that's going on up there. Should I get this? There's something to be said about the permanence of books in an ever-modernizing world. They remind us to take some time for ourselves, to slow down. Book towns create a hub of knowledge and imagination, and Hay on Wai has actually turned into something of an inspiration. More and more book towns have been popping up all around the world, and let's hope that trend continues. There's a great turnaround, and I think people are getting kind of too much screen time and I think they need to interact with the world. There is a world beyond your desk. A lot of people come here because they have a love of books and a real passion for books. And I think that's really nice when books bring people together. They've got characters. There's lovely old books here and the paper's different and all of the artwork that's in them and the smell of them. Some people really love the smell of old books. So there's all kinds of things that are always gonna keep books there, I think. They're never gonna go. They've been here a long time and they're here to stay. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel to see more awesome videos like this one, and leave us a comment to let us know where we should explore next.
And to check out more of my personal content, head to youtube.com slash thecuriousworld.